Hello, this is Rodrigo Lopez. And as I mentioned in the last segment of Sherlock Today, we would have Mr. Ontiveros here present to tell us about the accountability chart, tardy policy, the tension and work detail changes, and the new Bulldog community time. Thank you so much, Rodrigo, for the invitation to be here. I really uh, have been looking forward to it because we do have a lot of information kind of just surfacing and we want to make sure you guys are aware. So you're right, I, I do have information and uh, we can start with the first one, the accountability chart. Uh, just so everybody knows, uh, here's a, you know, we have a, long, a large campus. We have a lot of kids here. And so what we've done with the district is kind of look at, you know, what's happening with students today and how do we help you guys, right? Uh, the word accountable just really means that we are responsible for what we do, right? That's really what it means. So you're gonna to start to see, and uh, maybe projected above me here, an accountability chart in every classroom. And you'll be able to see, you know, what happens in the first incident, what happens in the second, and what happens in the third. Obviously, it's all done by steps. We obviously do not wanna to get to what we call suspensions or anything above that. It's about being proactive, making sure you understand what's gonna happen if certain behaviors happen that should not be happening. So that's kind of the nutshell of the accountability chart. It's a large chart, and you'll be able to all see it in your classrooms coming in January. That's good. Um, can we hear about the new TARDI policy? Oh, absolutely. Well, I hate to say this, guys, but I've been mentioning it before. It seems like we have a TARDI problem on our campus, right? I know young people kind of like to take their time getting to class, and I get it, right? You want to you wanna talk to your friend, you want to kiss your girlfriend goodbye, that sort of stuff. Well, the reality is we got to get to class on time. It creates a disruption, right, when you're not there and the teacher is ready to start, okay, especially first period. So if you can at all possible, please, please work with your families to get here on time uh, every period of the day, especially first period. But while you're on campus, right, there's no excuse not to get to class on time. So we've been pretty lenient to say because we had a year and a half gap on trying to get everybody kind of understanding how that works. Well, I, I will say your older kids, I believe you do know how to get to class on time. So what we've done, again, working with our district, uh, we've kind of tightened up the steps to, you know, assign discipline for lateness to class, tardiness to class. So for example, now by the time you get to step five, right? Which means now we're talking about 15 tardies, 15 tardies, Rodrigo, right? That means you've had a lot of chances before. You got detentions, you got work details, try to remind you, hey, let's get to class on time. So now when you get to step five, it's gonna be a suspension, right? Now, do we want to get there? Of course not, right? Uh, we feel that you're able to understand and get to class on time. And what will happen from that point forward, and we work in increments of three, is you'll be suspended. And now, you know, we again, and I'll say it over and over and over, that's not the point. Suspension is not the point. We don't want to send students home. We want you to understand what the behavior expectation is. So that's why it's getting a little bit tougher policy, but I have a lot of faith in our students. I say it often, even when we're faced with bad times, that we have great kids on campus. I see it every day, right? So that's what we're hoping for, okay? okay. Um, can you tell us about the new uh, detention and work detail changes? So again, that kind of ties into, you know, being assigned work detail or detentions because you were late to class, right? Or other little factors, so, you know, it's maybe a, a misbehavior in class. So those tend to accumulate, right? So what we did to kind of help students this semester, we, so we started to open up serving detention during our lunch time, right? And we're doing it Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, <laughs> That is going to end. It actually ends uh, today, the day that this is filming. Uh, it'll be the last lunchtime detention. So come January, 
for going back to before school or after school serving your detentions. Puts a little bit more emphasis and a little bit more strain on you to do that. So again, we're hoping that you understand, well, it's not worth it. This, let me get to class, right? And get to class on time so you're not getting detentions and work detail, right? So that's why that's gonna happen. And so students start to uh, plan accordingly. You gotta serve those detentions because again, if you do not, what happens is you end up getting suspended for those hours. Again, it's not what we want. Yeah. All right. Um, can we hear about the new uh, Bulldog community time? Absolutely. Well, we are very excited. Uh, as you may or may not know, some teachers may have shared that we've gone through a long process of getting that approved. And so thanks to our teachers, right, that has been approved. And uh, we have now a dedicated time which is gonna be a 19 minute period of time. If you'll see the schedule, the schedules are already coming out, right? And it's gonna be right after second period. So there's gonna be a lot of benefits to that. So one of the benefits is now Bulldog uh, community time. So you're getting your second chance breakfast. Now you'll be able to go into your, you know, Bulldog community time period and have your second chance breakfast, right? Where sometimes it's been a struggle. When do I eat that, right? At the same time, you'll be able to listen to a bulletin announcements. You'll be able to watch Turlock today, right? And of course, there's the, the big emphasis of this is building relationships, right? With another adult, right? Building a team. You're gonna be devised a class of a mixed group. So you'll have freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors all mixed into the same class, right? It's a non-academic class, so that means I'm not, no one's going to teach you English or math, right? But they're going to work on team building activities. They're going to just work on, hey, Rodrigo, how are you doing today, right? And, and kind of feel those things out, right? So we're very excited about that. That's going to start January 3rd when we get back. You guys are all going to get a schedule uh, on Friday uh, during your second, or during your business time for your second period uh, class. And so you'll know exactly when it is. Now we're not gonna renumber our periods. So basically you'll have period one, period two, and then you will have a, a number, but it's gonna say Bulldog Community Time or abbreviation BC, right? And so uh, that will happen right after second period in between second and third. And so we're very excited. We were looking forward to everybody kind of developing a whole new little team there. And we're gonna let, uh, you know, things evolve from that point, right? We have uh, excited folks like uh, ASB and Lee Crew members that can take advantage of that time. And uh, I don't know if you're an AP student and have a lot of honors courses, you can actually sit there and do homework if that's what you chose, choose to do. Yeah. Sounds yeah. very good. All right. So, I very much appreciate the invitation and uh, giving me the opportunity to explain some of these things. Uh, the last thing I'd like to say is uh, I want to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas. You know, have a wonderful break. Uh, come back, recharge. Think about all these things that we just shared, right? And uh, come back ready, right? We know it, school sometimes is tough. Uh, life is tough. We live in a very complicated world right now. And I always say the best students in Turlock are at Turlock High School. So let's prove that. Uh, let's just keep proving that, right? By, by our actions, our behaviors, and, and everything that we do. Good morning. I'm Julie McGinnis with some announcements here for Turlock today. The winners of Turlock Scott Talent 2021 are Ivan Tafola and Daniel Guerrero. Also making the final rounds last Friday was Genesis Ellis and JT McElroy. Congratulations to all the performers during lunch last week who showed off their talent. And congrats again to Ivan and Daniel for winning Turlock Scott Talent. Your books are still on sale in the activities office for $80 cash, credit, or debit only. Deadline to pre-order your yearbook is December 17th. Don't miss out. Bulldogs, here are some THS teachers to give you some words of encouragement 
and well wishes before your finals on the winter holidays. Hey everyone, your PE teacher's here. We want you to kick butt on your finals. Strong body, strong mind, and Merry Christmas and good luck. Merry Christmas, good luck, you guys got it. Ciao. What's going on Bulldogs? This is Mr. McElroy. Just wanted to wish you guys all good luck on your finals. Although we all know it doesn't take luck, it takes preparation. Hope you all do great and have a wonderful holiday break. Hey Bulldogs, good luck on your finals. Have a great break and we'll see you in 2022. From everyone here at Turlock FFA, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Woo!